Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to see how to connect Azure SQL in Power BI. So just watch the complete step. We are going to do these seven steps in order to establish this. Okay. Uh, so for this, you should have Azure account. Go to portal.azure.com. So this is your portal.azure.com and create your account if you don't have any. Okay. So this is the first step you have to do it, which is not mentioned in that. And the second thing you have to do is what you have to create a resource. Once you have the account, you have to create a resource. I have already created a resource called demo and it's, this is a resource group. So resource actually holds the all the relevant um, uh, relevant uh, resources or the um, uh, like what are the other services which are there in Azure so like that you, those services which are related to your project you can just store it in a single resource okay uh, so here you can go ahead and click uh, create a resource I have already did it but I'll just show you the way like method to do it okay uh, so just if you click on create a resource it will ask you to create a resource with a resource name okay so this is one way okay this is one way of doing it or else if you can if you want to go ahead directly you can also create it when you are creating a sql server okay so you you have a resource group here so you can click here this is often used or else you can even search it from here resource group okay if you want to understand in detail how to create a resource you can just go ahead uh, to my uh, channel and see how to create a resource in my channel so here you can find the ai 900 lab so you can find it so if you click on the resource group it will ask you to create a resource first okay so it's already there for me so you have to create this plus symbol here and click create once you click create or uh, you know it will ask you what is the subscription uh, I am using MSDN subscription because I'm an MVP and MCT. So if you are using a free version, so there will be some other subscription which will be showing up there and you have to give the resource group name. It should be uh, a good name. OK, so it should be a meaningful name. So I have just kept uh, um, demo and the region. Just go ahead with the default region, whatever it is. Go ahead with the default region and click uh, next. Uh, so it will you have to create a tag. If you want, you can create it. This is not mandatory. And finally, you can just review and create. I'm not giving the name here. So that's why it's showing like this. Just uh, you can create it. OK, once you have created the resource group, I recommend you to wait for another 10 or 15 minutes because it will show you that it is created, but it may take some time to uh, uh, to completely configure okay so this is the first one which we have created that we have created the resource okay and then next one is you have to create an azure sql database so how to create this azure sql database you have to you have to go ahead and type Azure SQL. OK, so once if you type Azure SQL, you can see Azure SQL available this side. OK, so just click on this Azure SQL and then you can see that it will open up with your Azure. I have already created the Azure Dem, uh, SQL server. So I'll just show you like how it is will be. OK, so just click create, you know, it will uh, it will load. It will uh, start to create an Azure SQL database. So here you have to go ahead with this, which is the Azure SQL database. So you can select what is the resource type here. OK, whether it is a single database or elastic pool or a database server. So as of now, you're going to be are going to create only for me because whatever you choose, it depends it uh, or it consumes uh, your cost. OK, so uh, if you are using it like for a wider or like wider team you can just go ahead with the next further two options you have to select with the single create database and this is a sql managed instances i'm not going to do it okay and also sql virtual machine i don't want any virtual machine so i'll just if you just click create you can just see what all these things if it is a single database what is this it is up to 100 tb serverless compute and easy elastic pool means it's a resource sharing for cost and optimization uh, simplified uh, performance and uh, a database server is for a backup management and the business continuity management so let's just click create so once if you click create you know what happens is what the complete uh, steps okay so this here you have to enter the database name uh, and first one is you have to select the backup storage okay so here you can see uh, on the right side you can see the cost estimations what is the cost estimation it will take how much uh, the cost will uh, like what is the cost of everything uh, they will be showing the, those things here and here you can select the resource group whatever you have created if you haven't created a resource group of course you have to create it here okay and then you have to enter the database name your server name what is the server you want to go with and uh, whether uh, 
you want to secure elastic pool uh, what is the workload environment whether it is a development or production better to go with the production development because production in the sense like you have to it it uh, like once if you are ready to deploy your project into your client place or something you have to select this okay and compute compute plus storage this is very important you have to configure this as well so it's good to configure you can just click here and check for what is this and everything and i'll go with the serverless which is less cost than the provisioned one and uh, here they'll be showing like what is the compute hardware if you want to go ahead with maximum vcos and min what is the min vcos you want and what is the auto pass delay like everything if you want to add it here you can just go ahead and give it here okay and then so i have uh, just uh, took a screenshot because i cannot create multiple things so here you have to give the demo demo db and this is your uh, server if you can if uh, you can create a server here and uh, you have to select the location exactly where the server is and then you can click on microsoft entra only authentication so i am choosing entra only authentication because if you if you allow okay if your server name is available for someone they can use it okay so both sql and entra in the sense you have to give two authentication so sql server uh, name and password and auth entra authentication as well so this seems to be very little difficult and sql authentication you need to create your username and the password and everything so i'm just going with an entra here and then you have to select the admin okay who can access it so once if you click on the admin it will ask you like uh, uh, all users to which user which user is an admin you have to select who is an admin so you have to select your own email id through which you have logged in your uh, ad, uh, your azure portal and then you have to just click on the and uh, you, you have to select that admin and click okay and then you can see how much is what is the uh, cost it involves okay and then click review and create once if you click a review on create the deployment will be in the progress and it will work the deployment completely it will work and it will create uh, some resources for you like your server uh, demo sql servers in uh, everything okay and then you have to go to the resource and once you go to the resource you can see your server name here this is important because we are going to connect with this server name okay and uh, you have to compute uh, you have to configure the compute and storage because that is uh, to manage your uh, your data access and also how much you are going to store it okay so just go ahead and check how many uh, storage and computation level you need go ahead with the serverless okay this is what i have already told you and then you can click apply and your uh, uh, changes will be saved here and then you have to go to the data base and you have to create a uh, you have to create a table inside the database okay so so far what we have did is what we have created an azure sql database we have configured the compute plus storage and then you have to create a table okay so you have to set the server and the firewall why should the i have to set the server and firewall because if you are just giving the server name to someone who wanted to use it through the power bi so you have to set the proper firewall that everybody can access it okay so everybody in the sense anyhow you have to give the authentication so but uh, you can just give this firewall okay so this is what if you want to set something like a selected network then you can click it here okay so this will sell you can select which ip address should you should use it okay and then you have to create a table um so here i'm just creating a table we have created a demo database but we have to create a table here so how to create a table if you go to the left side uh, preview you can find it one minute i'll just show you so i have created a demo db right uh, i have the demo sql server and the demo db so in this you can see there is a query editor okay so this is my server name i'm just copying this go to the query editor and once if you click on this query, query editor you can see you can click here continue as the uh, as gomati.shrinivasan so i have to log in uh, using the entra authentication it is trying to log in with the entra authentication okay so it was it is taking some time because it is trying to log in uh, we have chosen that it has to uh, log in with the entra authentication right so it will take some time okay so if it shows something like this you have to click continue as gomati shrinivasan because this is what my uh, email id is okay so i have to continue and if you click on this particular table i have already created this table so i'll tell you how to create this table okay so if you just click on this table you can run the query here okay 
so you can run the query here so how to run this query so this is the query. okay so on the right side you can see this is the query editor so here you have to type something okay so like um, create uh, whatever the table you wanted to create you whatever the um, uh, tables okay so what is the uh, column name what is the row name everything for this you require what um, you know SQL like you should know how to write an SQL query so this is I have created a table person and this is the person ID first name are all the columns okay likewise you have to create uh, what likewise you have to create whatever the tables you want okay so you have to tell how many tables you want you can just create it so here you can see I have created four tables here okay and after creating a four tables you have to insert the data right so how you can insert the data click on this three dots and then you can see edit data preview so click on this edit data so you can see you have all these data which I have already entered if you want to add a new data you can just click here create a new row and then you can uh, add it here okay if the name what is the name of the course um, uh, let it be like uh, okay what is the name of the course and then who is the instructor okay likewise you can just add it so this course ID is uh, actually an auto uh, increment okay so that is why it is not uh, um, we don't want to give anything so it will auto increment likewise I have created all the uh, I have in uh, I have inserted the data for all these uh, tables okay these things you have to do and once you have inserted the data you are uh, you are SQL is ready okay you are SQL data is ready you have to insert the table into these things and then you have two ways one is you can either directly once everything is fine you can either go to this power platform on the left side and then click on this power bi so once if you click on this power bi what will happen is what it this particular uh, table and data will be downloaded okay here you can uh, uh, you can see you can if you just click on this get started so what happens your data will be downloaded in pbids file either you can open this this is one way or else uh, you can just connect with the server name okay let us see how to connect this with the server name just copy this open your power bi and uh, just go to the home page okay blank report even you can connect it from there but i just want to show you how to connect it okay and then you have to just go ahead and click on get data and go to the more and once if you click more you can see there will be an azure okay and in Azure, you have this SQL uh, Azure SQL database. So once if you click here Azure SQL database, click connect. Okay, once if you click connect, it will ask you for the server name. You have to paste the server name here and click OK. So what happens if you know the database name, you can give it here. If you don't know the database, just leave it. Okay, and try to connect it. Now, what happens is what sometimes it will ask you for authentication. Um, because we have authenticated through the IP address, so no problem. Um, so it will directly show you that this is a demo database. Okay. So it is connecting you with the demo database and then expand this. You can see we have created four tables. So those four tables, you can find it here. So course, credit, person and student. You can select all these tables and then click on um, load and once if you click on load you can find that your data will be loaded and it will be available in the right side that is in your data pane okay it may take some time because you are just loading it okay now your table has been um, like imported and you can see on the right side all the tables are available you can just click on those tables and see how uh, what are the columns which we have kept and also you can click on the model view and you can see that these data are properly connected because we are connecting from um, from the Azure so you can see that this is also connected here okay so now it's very simple to add your insights it's simple as we are do we will be used to do it with the help of uh, your visuals and what visual you want you can just go ahead with that 
so that's all for the today's session so we have completed what is how to connect with and if you are um, uh, interested in writing this exam PL 300 and if you want 50 percentage Microsoft coupon you can just um, join my Microsoft learning room here the here is the link I'll be sharing this in the uh, description as well so it's free of cost you can just simply join the learning room you will be getting a um, access to the Microsoft tenants once you got the access ping me from there uh, I'll be sharing you the Microsoft coupon and this is my top mind account if you have any queries if you have any if you require any personal guidance for your um, your um, uh, project or your interview preparation your certification readiness or whatever it may be just schedule a call with me I'll be happy to help you take care have a great day I'll meet you soon with the next exciting video bye bye